What is up guys, it's your boy Suplay Kanoki coming back at you again for another video. And today we are listening, well not listening, but we are reading over what Chris Jericho has said publicly on the MJF incident. So we haven't seen MJF since he delivered that that pipe bomb promo on Tony Khan and AEW and his contract and Chris Jericho has come out publicly and he has said this. After 30 years in this business, I've learned if it doesn't have anything to do with me, I stay the hell out of it. I don't really care if I had an angle with MJF or if I was involved in the contracts, I'd be much more interested in it. But I stay out of it. It has nothing to do with me. Only thing I will say is a contract is a contract. If every athlete in every sport wanted to be paid more now, then what's the point of having a contract? You know what I mean? We'll see how it plays out. I'm happy with my contract, and I know in a year and a half when my contract is done, we'll have some negotiations to discuss, and that's how it goes. Until then, I want to do the best performances that I can, put on the best shows and the best stories, keep the people interested, happy, and excited, and when my contract is up, I'll be rewarded for it. MJF is 25. He has a lot to learn. He's not as good as he thinks he is, and like I said, it really has nothing to do with me. But I'm sure he'll be back. 18 months is a long time to stay at home. And that's Tony Khan's prerogative. You're under contract. You want to stay at home? You can stay at home and not get paid. And that's what happens. We see it happen in other companies. And that's just how it goes. If you didn't expect that, then why did you sign your contract in the first place? And then Chris Jericho, he also went on to speak about MJF in the WWE. He said this. Oh, Absolutely his character would wa be watered down in WWE. He's better off staying in AEW, but again, don't stick your finger in the light socket. You tell a little kid not to do that, and they're going to do it and see what happens. I'm not going to tell anybody not to go elsewhere, because I did. I did it for years. I did it to come to AEW. I walked away from WWE when I signed my AEW contract. Vince McMahon said, can you get out of it? No, you told me to go here. Same thing happened when I left WCW to come to WWE. Sometimes you've got to take a chance, and if you believe in yourself, and you feel you aren't getting your dues, then you go elsewhere. So, it is yet to see if these words by Chris Jericho are going to play in the mind of MJF. Will MJF stay around in AEW, or will, when his contract's up, will he leave and go to the WWE? I personally hope... Hope to God he stays in AEW so they don't water his character down. Like Jericho mentioned, they would water it down. It would not be as good. And yeah, I think he is a draw in AEW and he knows that, which probably is a bad thing for his ego. Although he knows his worth, which is good. He deserves the money. I think Tony Khan will pay up because he deserves it. But time will tell where a where will MJF be in the next two years? We do not know. Will MJF be on Dynamite in the next few weeks? Because we haven't seen him in a while. We don't know. You're going to have to stick around and watch. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to leave a like, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, this is your boy Suplex Network signing off. Peace.